Hello everyone. As we have previously learned about the process of digestion, today we will be learning about the absorption of the digested product. This lesson is presented by me, Dr. Amna Khan. What is absorption? Absorption is the process by which the end products of the digestion pass through the intestinal mucosa into the blood or the lymph. It is carried out by passive, active or facilitated transport. Now, what do we mean by passive, active or facilitated transport? In simple words, in passive transport, substances simply move from an area of high concentration to an area of lower concentration, which does not require input of energy. In active transport, the movement of molecules across a membrane from a region of their lower concentration to a region of higher concentration. In the direction against some gradient or obstruction factor, which is often the concentration gradient. Active transport is usually associated with use of chemical energy such as ATP, that is adenosine triphosphate. Now the facilitated transport or you can call it as facilitated diffusion. Also, you can call it as passive mediated transport. So, this facilitated diffusion is the process of spontaneous passive transport of molecules or ions across a biological membrane via specific transmembrane integral protein. Proceeding to the mechanism of intestinal absorption. Generally, water is absorbed by the intestinal cells from there to the blood with the process of osmosis. The concentration of solute in the blood is higher than that in the intestinal lumen. Now most of the absorption of digested material is through active transport. As told earlier, the process of active transport uses ATP to push the material uphill from an area with relatively low concentration of small molecule such as the intestinal lumen to one with relatively higher concentration of small molecules such as the intestinal mucosal cell. The products of fat digestion such as monoglycerides and diglycerides and fatty acids are insoluble in water. Because of this, they are not directly absorbed from the intestine. So, how are they digested? They are first incorporated into small spherical soluble droplets called missiles. The formation of missiles is greatly influenced by bile salts and phospholipid in the intestinal lumen. Now from these missiles, which are aggregate of many molecules, the fatty acids, the glycerides, sterols, and vitamins are absorbed into the intestinal cells. Any obstruction of bile from entering into the small intestine results in prevention or the formation of missiles. Now, when there is no formation of missile. This could lead to lack of absor uh, absorption of lipid materials which could cause obstructive jaundice. The unabsorbed materials are excreted along with the feces. Coming up to the assimilation of food. In the body, the assimilation of digested food takes place in the following manner. The final product of the fat digestion are the fatty acids and glycerols. These substances are absorbed into the bloodstream through lactals. In the body, they are again converted into fats which are stored in the form of in the adipose tissue. This stored fat can be utilized by the body when there is a greater metabolic need, then once again the fat is broken down into fatty acids and glycerol.
by the action of lipases. Now, the simple sugars absorbed through the intestinal villi will reach the blood and the tissues. The extra sugars which is converted into complex polysaccharides and glycogen in the liver. The stored glycogen is utilized during the condition of stress. The excess amount of fat can also be converted into carbohydrate by the process of gluconeogenesis. The amino acid absorbed from the intestine are utilized to synthesize various types of protein in the body. Now let's summarize. Absorption of the substance takes place in the different part of the alimentary canal like mouth, stomach, small intestine and large intestine. However, the maximum ab absorption occurs in the small intestine. So here is the summary of absorption in different part of the digestive gland system. Starting with the mouth, certain drugs coming into contact with the mucosa of the mouth and lower side of the tongue are absorbed into the blood capillaries lining them. Stomach, absorption of water, simple sugars and alcohol takes place here. The small intestine, principal organ for absorption of nutrient. The digest digestion is completed here and the final product of digestion such as glucose, fructose, fatty acids, cholesterol and amino acids are absorbed through the mucosa into the bloodstream and lymph. The large intestine. Absorption of water, some minerals and drugs takes place in the large intestine. So now you have learned about the di uh, complete digestion process and the absorption of food material. In the next lesson, we'll be learning about the disorders of the digestive system. Thank you.